Hi guys, so in today's video I would like to address something I'm sure you have all come across with. Let's say I wanted to apply this texture to my blanket. Once I import my material into my colors in model section and apply it, it becomes kind of distorted and broken. When I started using SketchUp it was so frustrating and I was in fact impressed at how easy I can actually fix this problem. So let's have a look how. The key lies in creating a similar sized rectangle and place it to the next object. It has to be somewhat in similar perspective and size, so in this case it's top down. Then I apply my material to this rectangle and here comes the trick. We select the surface, click right, texture and choose projected. Now we select the bucket tool and use its integrated sampling function by holding down the command key on a Mac or the alt key on a Windows computer to sample this new projected material. Now we can go back inside our blanket group and apply the seamless material that is now projected. And ta-da! We got rid of those broken pieces. I could now change the scale of this material by editing this material in size. Now let's have a look at how I would do that for a throw pillow. The problem in most cases is that we don't have a seamless texture, especially if we need to showcase a specific pillow that we want to purchase later on. So we need to create a screenshot or cut the image in a way that it only has the material visible, not a white background or other backgrounds. Then I import this screenshot again and create another rectangle or square that has a similar size and place it next to my pillow. Then I apply material again and of course change it into a projected material. Now you can see it's not a seamless material so we might see the corners and we need to position it in a way that it will be projected on our left pillow correctly. So this includes maybe moving the rectangle to the left, to the right, to the top or sometimes scaling it a tiny bit bigger. So somehow SketchUp is saving those information and the placement and as I said, it's only needed when not using seamless materials and we only have a certain size that we need to project. It's visible once I start applying my material to the other pillow. You see it's kind of saved the position of the previous uh, seamless texture. But you know, you can certainly just copy this uh, ready one. Uh, but of course, just for you to understand how to fix the problem by simply moving the square a little bit to the sides or scaling it up a bit until you get the projection of your materials that you're happy with. Alright guys, I hope this trick served as an epiphany moment for you all. Catch you in my next videos.